What's up, FV Clan? Today we're gonna determine whether splatter ball guns are actually dangerous or not. Now, if you don't know what a splatter ball gun is, it's basically an airsoft gun that shoots Orbeez as bullets. That doesn't sound very dangerous to me, and I've been getting shot by these things for over 100 days in a row now. Anyway, now, an urgent warning from police about a dangerous TikTok challenge causing serious injuries among children and unsuspecting victims. During this challenge, people are firing popular Orbeez water bees from air power guns. Kids who are caught doing this, police say, could face disorderly conduct, batter, and even assault. We checked with agencies throughout South Florida. They have not seen cases locally yet. People are even going as far to say that these things are deadly. We're going to find that out today. Are splatter guns really deadly? Do I think it's okay for people to go shooting random people with these splatter ball guns out in public? No, absolutely not. I think it's stupid and you should definitely not go out in public and shoot a random person with one of these splatter ball guns or with anything for that matter. This is something that requires someone else's consent. Someone else agrees to play the game with you. Someone else with another blaster that can shoot back and hurt you the same that you're hurting them or sting or whatever you want to call it because like I said, these things, they're not really that harmful. Uh. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't feel anything anymore. After about like five, six seconds, the pain goes away, it stops stinging. And then and maybe you'll have a couple of little welts or maybe even a bruise the next day that goes away within the day. And for those of you out there that are blowing this thing up on the news and saying that these things are extremely dangerous or even deadly, you can go yourself, all right? This is stupid. This is absolutely ridiculous that people will be saying this and making these things seem like they're super extremely dangerous. Now also, I will say this, you guys that are out there doing the TikTok challenge and you're shooting random people, stop it. Stop giving a bad name to some kids toys. These things are literally for ages 14 and plus. Okay, so if you're out there shooting random people, just stop. It is also stupid. It is just as stupid as them blowing this up and making it worse than it actually is. You guys are the ones giving a bad name to these gel blasters. So have a battle or a gel blaster war with your friends that agree to play with you, that agree to get shot. Put your glasses on, put your goggles on, make sure you're protecting your eyes. Go out there and have fun with these things, but don't shoot random people. That being said, I just had I just had to stress that for a second. The way I feel and the way a lot of people feel about these things are that they're fun. You can go outside and have some fun instead of sitting inside on your Xbox, your PlayStation, your computer all day long. So if you can see the red dots that are showing up right now, that's basically what a gel blaster does to you. Compared to what a paintball gun or a airsoft gun does to you this is nothing this is literally like a little ant bite compared to a wasp sting which would be your paintball gun or your airsoft gun or even a slingshot a slingshot could actually kill somebody now there you have it guys are these things deadly i answered it in the very beginning but now i confirmed it absolutely not 10 feet away yeah it gives a sting. Yeah, it hurts a little bit. It leaves a little bit of welting, I would say. But it is not deadly. It barely even hurts after a few seconds. Get a couple of your buddies together, have an Orbeez War, wear your eye goggle protection, and have a lot of fun. These are toys, and they're meant to be used as toys. They're not to meant, they are not meant to be used as a challenge in TikTok, shooting random people in public, that, that's just wrong, guys. Come on, let's show the world that these things are not deadly, that these things are not dangerous, and let's just keep people out of jail by firing on random people in public. Don't do that anymore, please. If it's not for me, do it for your mom. Do it for your dad. Do it for the Lord above. Do it for whoever you look up to, because I guarantee you, they're not gonna tell you they like the idea of you shooting random people out in public. Make sure you guys stay safe. I do not recommend you guys get shot by these things just to test the pain level like I do with my shirt off. 
I would recommend that you wear some clothing when you get shot with these. That will lessen the pain level. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you watch this video, this video, like, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.